Hi, I'm using pastel matte paper specifically to show you how water resistant it is. So you can put some pastel on and then uh, instead of maybe using my finger to blend the colours, I can do some underpainting using a brush, blending it that way. So I put a nice sort of purpley grey colour on, slightly paler colour, a bit of brown, and some other colours, yellow, and some white. And uh, I'll just add some water to that with my brush. So the uh, pastel matte paper doesn't absorb the um, pastel totally. The water doesn't just soak right the way through it. So you can move pastel around a little bit. You'll see that uh, when I put the water on, it seems to darken it. And, um, but it will dry lighter. And then when that's dried, I can put some more pastel work on. So I'll let that dry and come back to that in a minute. Now it's dry, we can add more layers of pastel and the uh, pastel takes very easily. You can also see how the surface uh, of the pastel matte paper hasn't uh, buckled or cockled. So it stayed nice and flat for what I want to do. So we'll just put a bit of shading on this. Blending with your finger if you want, or with a pastel shaper, or even with a brush. But bear in mind, the more layers of pastel you put on, uh, if you're using a brush, the more the uh, layers of pastel will be disturbed. But it's quite nice to use as a, a method of underpainting prior to uh, adding more layers. And then just a little bit of bit more shading. So there we've got the, a very simple study of an apple using underpainting for the background. So why not try that yourself? Mm -hmm.